is medicine. Good food takes you out of the hospital. Bad food takes you to the hospital. Choice is yours. The topic I have for you today is one that requires your full attention because according to the World Health Organization, in 2019 alone, approximately 200,000 people in Pakistan had fatal cardiac events. Now this figure is alarming and that is why I am making this video for you to look into a natural cure. I've divided this video into two parts. Nutrition is going to be the first part, which is what I'm going to talk about with you today. And the second part is going to be lifestyle, the stress management, the exercise, and all of the other habits that will optimize heart health. But whatever you do, and for your own sake, I hope that when, as soon as you're done with this video, you start putting it into practice because knowledge that is not, into, not put into action is knowledge that is wasted. Let's get started. The first thing, number one, not all cooking oils are made equal. Let's replace the omega-6 and omega-9 oils with more of the anti-inflammatory oils. What do I mean by that? Sunflower, safflower, soybean oil, these must be replaced with ghee, canola oil, olive oil. Number two, start adding antioxidant foods into your diet. What do I mean by anti antioxidants? Simply these are the foods that help reverse damage to our cells. And few of the foods include spinach, cilantro, fruits, cabbage, carrots and lettuce. Number three, gradually reduce the amount of total carbohydrates you're consuming during the day. And one of the best ways I have seen for it to work practically is by reducing the amount of roti and chawal you have at lunchtime and adding healthy snacks before and after. Doing so, not only will you eat less of carbohydrates, but you will also eat more of the heart healthy foods and your energy and your blood sugar will remain stable. So what do I mean by healthy snacks? Things like a small bowl of fruit, carrots, walnuts, cashew nuts, olives. The next point, let's start ordering food a little less. You see, ordering food at home used to be something that was never heard of, but unfortunately, it has become quite the practice today. So ordering out should be restricted to when we go out, which should be once a week. Last but not the least, take interest in the kitchen because whatever is happening in the kitchen is what is happening in your in terms of your and your family's health. What foods are you buying? What groceries are being done? How food is being made? Small interest and small steps in this regard will go a long, long way. So as I said in the beginning, knowledge applied is knowledge used and at the same time, if you don't use this knowledge, then you waste it. So with whatever you know right now, start putting it into action and doing so will ensure better health, specifically cardiac health of you and your entire family. See you in part two.